Hello, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I would like to share component level security implementation in RNSP Designer. To begin with, we have an application where we have enabled standard uh, security model where a user must log in with username and password. And once the user is logged in, they have access to every single thing. As you folks might have seen through the Iron Speed Security Wizard, it is very easy for me to go to the security application security wizard, implement the standard database uh, based user and role security, and then select which pages are authorized for which users. In our case, what I would like to do is I would like to say that anything to do with roles is only accessible to admins. And that's basically how we have access, uh, we have, how we have implemented it, as well as the add make page is on, also only accessible to an admin. So what we are trying to say here is that only admins have access to adding a new make, as well as looking at the roles, as well as the users pages. So this is one form of implementation which a lot of folks are familiar with because it goes through the application the uh, security application wizard under tools. The result here is that when now you will log out and log back in, just trying to refresh the page here, and this time I'm going to log in as John Doe who is definitely not an admin and of course as you can see this person is not allowed to go in so what we're going to do is we are going to try to go to a make table system is uh, letting me go to the make table but if I go to the user table or the role table I will be thrown to a forbidden page because the page doesn't have security similarly if I try to add a new make I'll be gone to the forbidden page so the application security does work but it would be nice if I can enable component level security so that I can hide these components which will not even give an option to the user to be able to see them, to click on them, to go to the forbidden page. So let's take an example or let's try to see how to implement the component level security. In RNSpeed world, every single thing is a component. A table is a component, field is a component, menu option is a component, uh, table control is a component, record control is a component. Every single thing should be treated as a component. So to begin with, let's go to our menu. So if I go to the menu, click on menu, right click on menu and click on configure. These are also kind of components. So here I can go to the make and I can say add make. I want to implement so that it can only go to, it can only go to admins. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm saying this menu option add make should only be visible to admins. Whereas show make is visible to everyone because it doesn't have anything populated in roles. In addition, the main menu option or the main heading user, we can also implement the same way by saying only go to admins. If you notice, system is really putting the record ID of the admins role from the role table. So I, once I can see this, I can go to the other menu option and just merely type the number. Of course, system will not allow me to type the number. I, I thought it would, but I apologize for that and I'm basically now selecting one. So by me enabling a menu item or menu top level folder to be more assigned to a role, it will prohibit the choices not to even appear on login, which will be a lot more secure. Of course, if somebody knows the URL and they try to put a URL name, they will get the forbidden page because the page level security will kick in. In addition, if I go to the add page or add make and I look at the uh, the buttons which are on my, uh, sorry, it's on the show make page, the add button, which is right here. Here also I have a role security under security here. I can click on the security tab here and do the same thing that I did uh, in the menu. So as you can see, every single component which has a security option, you can very easily and effectively implement a security for each component. 
So having done that, and if I do a build now, and for demonstration purpose, let me log in as a cache, which is the admin. So if I just go and try to refresh the page, system will automatically prompt me to log in because we have rebuilt the application. And once I rebuild the application, I log in as an admin. And as soon as I log in as an admin, as you can see, I see my menu choices, my add make page is coming, my role menu options are coming, my, my user and role menu options are coming, as well as my add new make pages working. Now, if I log out and log in as John Doe, who is not an admin, once again, as you can see, automatically my two menu choices are gone because I'm not an admin. In addition, under make, I only see a show make option. The add make page option is no longer there because it has been disabled because of security permissions. And as you can see, the add icon on a make show table page is also hidden. If someone does know the username, for example, if I click on the edit, this was the edit uh, make page. So if somebody tries to just mess around with the URLs, and click on add make, that the SPX and press enter, they're gonna get a forbidden error message. So which means we are 100% secure from what we are sharing or what we are showing to the user as well as uh, what we are forbidding to the user. So hopefully this uh, presentation shared with you how easy it is for you to implement a component level security because in our speed world, every single thing is a component and I would say 99% of the controls have a security tab. So you can enable security for any role just by merely point and click. Hopefully you enjoyed this presentation and uh, keep looking for more. And I want to thank you for watching. Thanks.